Hey guys, Snatchy Elephant here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use Mumble. Um, a lot of you have been asking how to do Mumble, and we tried to walk people through it, and there's still some confusion. So I'm going to do my best to make a video that's a little more understanding for you guys, and hopefully you guys can um, learn and figure it out pretty easy. So this is the basic Mumble screen when you open it. Uh, you will, This is after the registration. After you register, you want to go ahead and click Server. You want to click Connect. When you connect to a server, something like this will pop up. Now, I already have these in here. Um, for you, the favorites won't be there, but you'll have public. Um, if you want to join another server, you would click Add New. Label means anything you want to call it so you can remember. So for this one, we'll just say New Server. And I'll be using an old server, mine, for example. Uh, address, you would type in, that's where you type in the Mumble address and the port. Now for mine, uh, this is a default port, but depending on the server, the port might need to be different. Uh, username is what you want to enter the chat room with, so I'll do OK, for example. Okay, I would say new server, this, I'd click OK. Once I do that, right here, the server that we added will be in the favorite list. For you guys, none of this other stuff will be here, it'll be just this one. You'd click this one, connect and it would connect you in there. Here I'm in the room, I'm by myself. Now the problem a lot of you are going to have when you first come into this window is you're not going to be able to talk. Um, these figures, these buttons up here, this one's to mute your microphone so you don't want to talk but you can still listen to the room. Uh, this one is to mute the listening so once you mute your listening you'll see the lips and the headphones muted out so that means you can't hear or talk. Um, the best thing that I recommend for you is to do the push to talk method, which I'm going to show you how to do now. Uh, you click configure, settings. You will have a window that pops up just like this. It's a little cut off for you guys. If you do shortcuts, you're going to go down to the bottom of this shortcut. Under this shortcut, let me see if I can minimize this for you. Nope. Okay. At the bottom, you'll see this menu right here click add. When you click add, it adds an unassigned function right here. If you click the unassigned, it gives you a drop down menu. Click push to talk. In the shortcut, you can simply click this area with the mouse as well. It'll say press shortcut. All you do is assign a key that you want. For me, I use the middle scroll button of my mouse, I just click it. For you, you might want to use spacebar or anything else. So whatever you want to use, you put it there. For me, like I said, I'm going to use the middle mouse button. There it is, mouse button 2. When you complete here, you click Apply OK. Now, you come back to the Mumble server. You will see me in the room, Snatchy, and you'll see my lips right here gray. When I push the button to talk, the lips turn red, stating that I am now talking. That is a way to communicate with other people. When you release the button, it stops talking. So can look at the push to talk option like a walkie-talkie. Uh, it's very simple to do. Uh, that's pretty much the basics that you need to know on how to get started and how to use Mumble for the talking. Over here you can talk to the room. Um, if you want to talk to somebody private, you would click on their name and, and start talking to them, but obviously I can't talk to myself. So that's the basics, and I hope you guys learned something from this, and I hope this helps out. Thanks.